Final Cut Pro is notorious for using the magnetic timeline, which I love using for long form edits like this. Uh, but for the highlight film and creative stuff, I feel like it gets in the way, so I'm gonna show you how I get around that. So this first long form video is all of the footage in chronological order and all of the multi-camera stuff already edited together. From this point, I duplicate the project to create the highlight film. And I go through all the B-roll stuff and start cutting out clips that I just know is not going to make it into the final highlight film. Then I go through all the multi-cam sequences and start cutting out what I want to use. So here's the vowels. And just start cutting away these. So again, the magnetic timeline is great for this. You just click that clip and click and delete and it'll delete everything above and below it. So then I come over to the beginning of the project and hit option W. It's going to create a slug for the magnetic timeline. Drag this out. Then I go through and with the blade tool, click, uh, make little sections like this. The reason I do that is I go through all the multi-cam sections and I drag them over to here. So that's their first look. And I section everything off based on like who's talking. So this is the bride's vows. Drag that to its own section. Groom's vows. Drag that to its own section. And I do that with all the talking sequences. So once I get all the multi-cam sequences in this order, I go through and I find a song and bring it into the project. And also grab all of the talking point audio and assign them audio roles. And then I right click on the clip that's on the magnetic timeline and lift from storyline. It's going to bring it above the magnetic timeline and highlight all of this, drag it over. And since it's an audio roll, you'll see that it automatically goes below the, audio, the music track. That just helps keep everything organized. So I just do the same process with all of the clips and drag them over. So from here, to keep things even more organized, I grab a placeholder. If you go over to generators and grab a, any of these placeholders will work. Put it on the very top layer, drag it out across your sequence. So if you hit V, it'll disable that clip. So now I have this placeholder above all of these multi-cam sequences. So I can start going through all the B-roll, dragging them up above the placeholder. And that'll keep everything organized so I know all my B-roll footage is above this placeholder and then all the talking points is below that. It just helps keep everything organized and makes it easier to edit. So jumping over to the final product, you can see all of the multi-cam sequences are here. Here is the placeholder. And then above that is all of the B-roll that I edited in on top of that. Down here is the music. And since we added the audio roll, all of these tracks are green and they stay below the music track. It just helps keep everything organized. Here is the magnetic timeline. So I just edit everything above that. So I would be able to easily move certain clips around if I need to and not have to deal with the magnetic timeline of keeping everything in sync. So that's how I edit in Final Cut Pro and avoid using the magnetic timeline. Hope it's been helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, just let me know.